Hey everybody, if you're listening to this episode and you have not yet listened to episode 125, let me stop you right now. Go back, listen to that episode first, and then listen to this. This is the bonus companion content meant to be listened to only after you've listened to episode 125. Otherwise, it's just not going to make that much sense. But if you have listened to 125, then welcome to the promised bonus episode. We got this! Hello? Hi, Mark. This is Hal from We Got This with Mark and Hal. How are you? Okay, sir. Fine. Uh, thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you. This is Mark from We Got This with Mark and Hal. This is Paul Dini, who you don't know. Now, oh, we... Paul, Paul Dini. He's the one with the magician wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. that guy. Yeah. Yeah. He, Misty's husband. He's the idiot who wound up with a cute wife. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, we, we were talking Garfield because we're doing Best Cartoon Cat. And uh, I, had, I had conflated a story uh, that I later figured out, which was Lorenzo Music replaced Bill Murray in Ghostbusters, and then Bill Murray replaced Lorenzo Music in Garfield the the movie uh, or the the uh, the animation the the film versions. But uh, can you confirm when they were casting Garfield originally for the cartoon? Were they looking for a Bill Murray type specifically? Uh, absolutely not. No. Um, in fact, uh, Lorenzo was not the first voice of Garfield. What? Uh, really? Voice, the do... first voice of Garfield was a, a San Francisco radio personality named Scott Beach. Oh, wow. Who, people who listen to Dr. Demento a lot will remember from a record he used to have on a lot called Religion and Politics. Yep. And he did a small voice for Garfield on an animated segment in another TV show. And then when the regular Garfield special started, they did tons of auditions and Lorenzo was like the 943rd person that they heard. Wow. And uh, if they had wanted a Bill Murray type, they wouldn't have wouldn't have taken that long to get to Lorenzo. Mm. Ah. So I guess the real moral of the story is for actors out there, always be the 943rd person in the room, right? <laughs> That's right. Yes, unless they stop <laughs> casting with 942 in which case you know, it doesn't work too well. Yeah, that's right. Then you, you have to wait even longer. Unless you're the second one of the first ones, Frank Welker. That's what happens. Yeah, yeah. that's it. There you go. <laughs> well, can you can you just tell me very quickly, just while I have your ears, a big Garfield fan, why do why do people love Garfield so much, and why has he been so successful in the in in a leap from comic strips to animation? Great. Well, right. I would like to think it's because the cartoon show so well written. Yes. Yes. Oh, go. it must be. <laughs> that's just me. Yeah. Uh, and my agent. Yeah. Uh, no, Garfield is a cat that people have enormous fondness for because he embodies an awful lot of qualities that we're ashamed of in ourselves, like sloth and gluttony and laziness and 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 cynicism. But he makes no apologies for them. You see, th- those are not his character defects; they're his pluses. Yeah. And also, I think they just. You know, I think Jim Davis draws a great cat with great expressions and funny attitudes, and and um, you know the cat caught on so fast. He, it, was, it was one of the great success stories of newspaper strips, and then it was one of the great success stories of animation. And uh, there was something, and there have been a lot of cartoon cats, obviously, who have not had that that have captured the public like that. And I think a lot of it has to do with Jim's quality control and with his. Uh, just ability to tap into people's sensibilities. Wow. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Very cool. Okay, you have to do a whole session with Mark on a, on a topic. You I can, would love that. Yeah. You, you will. He's, he's the greatest. Mark, will you agree to come on our show sometime in the not-too-distant future? Will you pay me the same thing you're paying Paul? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We'll you know what? Double. Hold on. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can, you can have double. How's that? Okay, you got me. All right. Great. Deal. Mark, pleasure Mark, meeting you. you. We'll talk soon. Gladly. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. We got this.